Hey guys, you know that this is a tablet year, it's an insane tablet year, we can talk about a lot of different tablets and now a company from South Korea called, called, yeah, called Hard Kernel have released their Leo or they haven't released it yet but they will release it in the end of March and it is basically a development kit tablet device and basically what that means is that this is not a tablet that is ready for your local Best Buy store or anything like that. As I said, it's a development kit and it, if you don't know what the development kit is, it's basically just a set of different tools so app creators and application creators could create their own kinds of software and applications to that little tablet device and you know customize it so this is just a device where you know they just play around with all of this new technology and I could tell you right now that this new tablet is called Oidroid A it, it's it's a bad boy you know it's it's a crazy guy it's a sick device so let's have a quick little look at the specs so first of all it features two cameras one in the front and one in the back and then it also features two micro SD slots that's kind of sick we haven't seen that iPad the two rumored SD slot either but two that is really impressive and then we have the processors which is kind of you know it's not the Tegra 2 dual core uh, we have talked a lot about that Tegra 2 dual core processor but it's not it is this new Samsung Exynos 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 1 gigahertz of ARM Cortex A9 dual core processor and the graphics is Mali 400 and the RAM is 1 gigabyte flash storage 8 gigabyte and remember you got a flash storage of 8 gigabyte and then you got two micro SD slots and then we have this impressive screen 13 66 times 768 on a 10 inch tablet now that is a really impressive resolution then we have the Wi-Fi we obviously got Wi-Fi BG and N channels the it's using Broadcom BCM 4329 obviously it's got Bluetooth a built-in a GPS with a 3G receiver and then very impressive you got a video support of HDMI 1080p video output so that's kind of sweet and then also we get the USB 2.0 port and then we get the cellular we got HSPA plus and we have obviously 21 megabits per second download and upload 5.7 megabits and then the battery it's crazy we have 9000 million per hour million per hour yeah, I think you say it like that but that is crazy and then we have the sensor we got a gyroscope we got the free axis accelerometer we have the electronic compass and as I said this tablet will be able in the end of March but it, it won't be like a device for normal people normal customers that want to have something I think it's running also Android 2.1 but you should remember that this one is obviously going to be upgraded to Honeycomb but right now they're just trying out some like cool hardcore stuff like playing Angry Birds Seasons and you know cool things like that well at least it showed that in the video but you know yes let's just don't talk about that but the price on this bad boy is just going to be 750 bucks and I mean you, you get crazy things in this device it's an awesome device and this I mean at the end of this year 2011 we are probably going to see some mad tablets but it, it's good it's good that iPad or Apple just get some more competition this year you know 2010 then we all talked about iPad but this year it's all kinds of different devices we have WebOS tablets where Windows Phone 8 no Windows 8 tablets rumors we got the Android Honeycomb tablets we got the iOS tablets we got everything this year you know this year is so awesome so yeah awesome heard hard hard kernel yeah that's, that's what she said uh, the hard thing but okay let's just end this video right now so yeah see you